Okay, now that our chassis is all dry, the glue's all set, we can do final assembly. So we'll take our axle and we'll insert the axle into the wheel. Press firmly into there. Be careful uh, with your chassis as you do your final construction to not break any of your mounts. Okay, so get those guys, press that firmly. Okay, there should be a little bit of side to side. If your straw is touching the wheels, you that can cause, uh, if it's too tight, it won't turn properly. So make sure that you've got a little room. Again, uh, we remember you shouldn't store your battery connector with the batteries in there. And we want to make sure that the connections on our bat on our motor stay stay solid. So we put a little piece of tape there. But when we install our batteries again, mind the polarity. Mind the polarity and make sure you plug them in with the correct polarity. And that we have the switches open. Now Depending on how we install our motor into our holder, the cart will go either forward or backwards. Okay, so we can test and see which direction because it's going to sit like this. Okay, so we can test by closing our switch. In that case, it's rotating this way, so I know I need to install this direction which is how I had my mount the first time so we're good there okay and then I'm just gonna place my batteries on top you could glue it you could, you could have glued the, the battery holder there but if you want to be able to move your project around you can just use a piece of tape there if you're gonna do a different design Use a piece of tape there. Okay, and again, careful with the wires. But there we go. Now, when it takes off, make sure it's not sitting somewhere where when you first push the switch, it's going to go right away. Okay, so if it's on the table and you push it, it could take right off. Did you see that? And try to take right off the edge of the table. So make sure you're in a good place so you've got lots of space, lots of room, and uh, see how good your mechanical alignment was. See how well you did everything and see how it went. Uh, expect failure. That's part of being a technician. Expect things not to work. Expect things to break. And when they do break, think about how you can make it a little bit better. But take your, take your cart and take it somewhere safe and make sure you have lots of room and let it rip.